Hey, we have here an integral from MIT Integration B 2022. This is problem number five. So we have the integral of x over the square root of x minus 1 plus the square root of x plus 1. I think what I want to try to do is just see if what I can do to get rid of these radicals in the denominator to start with. So let's rewrite this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate. So we'll multiply by square root of x minus 1 minus square root of x plus 1. And then of course we'll do the same in the numerator so that we're not changing the expression. We're just multiplying by 1. And then when we do that, multiplying this by this is just going to give us an x minus 1 in the denominator. And then, and then we'll just multiply these second terms and we're going to have minus x plus 1. And then in the numerator we're going to have x times the square root of x minus 1. I'm going to distribute the x. And then we're going to have x times x plus 1 dx. Next what I'll do is I'll bring out a rug so you guys don't hear me stomping around so much. Okay, then you'll notice that we have, if we distribute our minus sign, this x is going to cancel. I'm just going to have a minus 2 here. So then we're just going to take this minus 2 out front here, and we're going to have it as a minus a half. <clears throat> so then let's rewrite this so we don't have such a crazy mess over here. So we're going to have minus 1 half. And I'm going to split this into two separate integrals, x squared of x minus 1 dx. And then the second integral, we have this minus sign, but when we multiply a minus a half, it's going to become a plus. We're going to have plus 1 half x square root x plus 1 dx. And these integrals really aren't too bad separated like this. You know what I'm going to do? We'll do two separate u substitutions, but so we don't confuse the variable, I'll call it a v on the right side. So we'll say u equals x minus 1, so du equals dx. And then over here, we'll do v equals x plus 1, dv equals dx. So that we're, we're going to get the simplification in the radical in both of these expressions. And then let's also note that our x value here, if we just add one of both sides, it's going to be u plus 1. And over here, our x value is going to be v minus 1. So now we have everything we need to rewrite this. We'll have our minus 1 half in front. Our x is u plus 1. Um, square root of x minus 1. So we're going to write this as u to the 1 half plus 1 half. Our x over here is going to be v minus 1. And then we're going to have v to the 1 half. And, oh, sorry, and I forgot. Here we have a du. And here we have a dv, because I always like to forget the dx, du, d whatever. Then we just need to multiply this. I'm going to actually distribute this way. I'm going to distribute this way. So let's get, when we multiply it through, what do we have? We have minus 1 half, u 3 halves plus u 1 half, du plus 1 half, integral v of 3 halves minus v 1 half dv. And now we just have two integrals where we can use the power rule across the board. So we're going to have minus a half. And so u three halves is going to be five halves. But we'll bring a two fifths here. Here we'll make parentheses. And then this one we're going to have u to the three halves, two thirds, plus one half v, five halves, two fifths. And then I think we're just going to finish it off in one step. I'm going to distribute here, distribute here. And then back substitute here, back substitute here. So let's do this. And that's it. So that'll be our solution for the MIT Integration B 2020 problem number five. And yes, this one was kind of more of a brute force integral, and it was really more algebra than anything else. And sometimes that's the way it goes. So not too hard, a lot of algebra. I'll stop it there. Thanks for watching.